when you're hired on in a band, and you're not necessarily the one who's responsible for anything, okay? You just come in, you, you're the singer, you play guitar, you do whatever. Your only responsibility is to come in and play. That's all you have to do. You don't have to do anything else. You don't have to help the band leader if there's a band leader. You don't help, have to help the management, the record company, the booking agency, the promoters. You don't, have to, you're not, you don't have to do that. You're not paid to do that. You're not expected necessarily to do that. That's not your role. That's not what you've been hired to do. But all of those people who have those responsibilities, and there's, and there's a lot of responsibility, there's a lot of time that goes in, there's a lot of pressure on, on those people to make things work, to get things done, to implement things for the benefit of the entire band, the record company, the organization, everybody's benefit. When you come in there and just, and not just play guitar, or not just sing, or play the drums, and you freely offer your resources, whatever that might be, and that might just be your knowledge, might be your time, it doesn't have to be money, it can be, but it doesn't have to be, your, your expertise, your access to other, other resources, information, help, uh, systems, anything. Do you think that your value goes up, stays the same, or goes down? Yeah. Not only does it go up, my friends, it goes through the roof. Through the roof. So now, what, what, do, you think, what do you think happens at that point? Do, do you think that not only does that person notice, everybody notices. Everybody. Everybody in the organization, everybody in other organizations that interface with yours, they all notice. So what do you think then happens the next time if you find yourself in a situation where you want to move into another project, another company, another band, work with a, a, a different booking agency, a different record label? What do you think happens then? Do you think are they like, oh, yeah, it's just another guy who sings or plays guitar, or plays drums, but we've got, you know, thousands of guys who are just as good? Do you think that's what the thinking is? Or do you think the thinking is, wow, yeah, this guy's good, and he can help us with this, this, and this. He wants to help with this. He'll help us with this. He's volunteered his time with this. It's a freaking no-brainer. No-brainer. Of course you're going to get the gig. There's no... There, listen, Lou asked about competition. You can create, not, and not very hard, situations where... There are no competitors. That the list, which is small, now becomes a list of one. And you're on it. That's it. So, all this comes back to my original statement. John Wooden, 11 time championship, national championship <clears throat> head coach in college basketball. We don't worry about what our competitors do. We don't look at what they do and do the same. Just because this guy goes home at 5 o'clock doesn't mean I'm going to go home at 5 o'clock. Just because this guy feels that all he has to do is come in and sing some songs and go home, that I'm going to come in and sing some songs and go home. Just because this guy doesn't concern himself with uh, other business or other, other tasks that other people have to do and they slave at doesn't mean I have to. I'm not, that's, not my, that's not my job. I just come in, I do my thing. Have fun, get paid, and go home. That's what everybody else does. That's why I don't do that. 